Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. As you can see, this is a new setup. I wanted to change it because I was bored of that gray wall. It's probably not the best thing you've ever seen on YouTube. I'm not very good at this stuff, but you know, I put up the sketches that I drew long, long time ago. I always find a way to showcase them. Donnie has a lot of glare, so you probably can't see that one very clearly. And that poster right there, this is the way. I thought that poster was so cool. I posted about this on Instagram too. I thought that poster was so cool. And every single time I walk into the room, I just start saying, this is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth. So yeah, I've ruined the Mandalorian for myself with that poster. And it's been some time since I've recorded one of these. It's been more than a month. And I also did not post much. I only posted like one video last month, so I'm really sorry about that. But I have my sleep schedule fixed now and I can make videos in my new house. As you, if you've seen the Cabin in the Woods video, you know, those vicious things, the way they, they're not even howling. I don't know what they're doing, the jackals, but yeah, they do that a lot. So I'll be coming back to my old place to make the videos. I changed the wall, kept the couch and mini, of course, and I've yapped more than enough. So let's get to the video. Today we're watching Goodwill Hunting. I always thought it was Goodwill Hunting, Goodwill, you know, friendly, whatever it means. But today I looked at the name, it's Goodwill Hunting. So Will is probably a person and he's hunting. This one stars Matt Damon and Robin Williams. I really love Robin Williams. I love him because of Aladdin. It's been my favorite Disney movie ever since I was a kid and probably always will be because of him, because of the genie. So I'm really looking forward to this movie and I don't know if this is sad or happy. Hopefully it doesn't make me cry, but I'm not sure. So without any delay, let's just get right into it. I also bought lightsabers to showcase my love for Star Wars, but the good ones were really expensive, so I bought cheap ones. Sign a Uzes Mats. Ben Affleck. A lot of books in the back. And a lot of familiar names in the front. Young Matt Damon. Is that Ben Affleck? Written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Okay. Mod FX square DX. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. And I'm hoping that one of you might prove it by the end of the semester. Oh, I thought he was a student here. Is he gonna prove it? Ah, I see. Hi, Will. Christian, how you doing? That's Will. Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie woochie you usually throw at me? Like, at least my energy spreading my legs for that tootsie roll dick. I mean, there's only so many times you could bang your friend's future wife. <laughs> it's like, what, 10 o'clock? I'm tired. He's got studying to do. What does he do? Is he a student there? An Irish curse. Okay, this is Will, and he looks good. Like a good person. Who is hunting? Who's gonna go hunting? Or is that his name? Will Hunting. Did he do it? Oh. Stop brushing me back. Stop crowding the plate. Casey's bouncing up a bar uh, at Harvard next week. We should go up there. Come on. Come on. That's a chat. Come on. Come on. It's Saturday. <laughs> Who proved the theorem? It's like somebody proved the theorem. Who did it? It's goodwill. Well, this is correct. Who did this? Is this one of those feel good movies? Because I feel really good. Come on, kid! Go, yeah. take it out, yeah. take it out! Another yeah, That kid used to beat the shit out of me in kindergarten. Okay. Yeah. 15 minutes out of our way. What the fuck are we gonna do? We can't spare 15 minutes. <laughs> well, give me that fucking sandwich. You mean your sandwich? I bought it. Keep it right up here for you. 
we'll put you on a program. Every day you come in with your six cents, and at the end of the week, you get your sandwich. Oh. Hey, hold up, Jack. Let me tell you something. Get out there in two fucking seconds. When I'm done with them, you're on the next. Whoa. I didn't think Will was gonna go out and fight. He's good, Will. He's friendly. No? Oh. oh no, don't do that. Everybody wants to know who proved the theorem. So without further ado, come forward to Silent Rogue and receive thy prize. Hmm. Seems there will be no unmasking here today. And there is a problem on the board right now that took us more than two years to prove. The faculty have answered and answered with vigor. So if I understood that correctly, there is another theorem to be proved and he's gonna prove it again. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna be like, who the hell is doing this? Bro is just casually solving all these problems. Oh! They found out really quickly. I thought it was gonna go on for some time. That's people's work, you can't graffiti here. Don't He's not graffiti! Hey, fuck you! I know. <laughs> well, how was that you going to be to get fired from that job? Why did you get fired, Will? Come on. Uh, management was restructuring. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you yesterday if I could get a job, and I told you no Just yesterday. This. That's his best friend. He's going to do more for him than he's going to do for you, I guess. This is a Hobbit bot, huh? I thought they'd be like equations and shit on the walls. I'm going to have to bust a little move on them Hobbit honeys down the end of the bot. <laughs> Works magic. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? So I think I had a class with you. I am? What class? History. Just history? It must have been a survey course then, huh? Yeah, it was. Go away. Why don't you relax? Why do you have to go away? I'm just having fun with my new friend. What a dick. The economic modalities especially... Is Will gonna come in and save the day? Please, Will, say something to this to this douchebag. You're gonna be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? <laughs> You're gonna plagiarize the whole thing for us. Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? Just to impress some girls, embarrass my friend. Good job. You dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. Are oh, you like me now? <laughs> My boy's wicked smart. He is. And I was like, go fuck yourself. I swallowed a bug. <laughs> I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. But I'm tired now and I have to go home. So maybe we can go out for coffee sometime. All right, yeah, oh. maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of caramels. <laughs> Look at those fucking bunnies right now. Hey, wait, hold on. Trip. Do you like apples? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> 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 that was good. He got fired from that job. I thought he was going to get, like, a scholarship or something. <sighs> to study there. Because he's a genius. No, he's here. Maybe he just didn't go back and thought he would be fired. Look, if anything was stolen, I should know. No, 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 it's nothing like that. I just need his name. This is Professor Lambeau. This is Professor Hayes. Tom, please. Got this job through his PO. You can call him. PO? Yeah. Asshole. Why? <laughs> he's. Defending himself. Henry Ward Beecher in Proverbs from the Plymouth Pulpit, 1887, said it. And I quote, this is Excuse me, without liberty, man is a cinco. Man is a what? Ibn. Come on. 93, assault. September 93, oh. assault. Oh. Grand theft, auto. You've been through several foster homes. The state removed you from three because of serious physical abuse. Oh, my God. $50,000 bail. Thank you. Yeah, look, I was no, wondering. Sir, right? Hold on one second. No. I was wondering maybe we could get together um, sometime this week. How long is he in there for? I've spoken to the judge, and he's agreed to release you under my supervision. Really? But under two conditions. That you see a therapist. Hmm. <laughs> he 
You do need to see a therapist, man. It's better than spending that time in jail, isn't it? Now he's gonna become Goodwill. You're not jealous, are you? I read your book. The pressures, and I'm not judging them, but they are destroying your potential. God, I know. Now, you're not going to get off that easily. Come on, Will. A bit more. I go places. I interact, you know? Really? What sort of places? Just certain clubs. The music, like, owns you. It's like mm -hmm. that house music. It's like, bum, bum, bum. Do you find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? I don't care if you putt from the rough. What are you to put, putting from the rough? He's gonna be a nightmare for his therapist. <laughs> you go somewhere else, is that what he said? Well, I'm going on national television next week. I haven't even got time to tell you, much less talk to that raving loony in there. An absolute lunatic he is. Oh, this is going to be so fun with all the therapists. <laughs> so, what do you see? It's like a, uh, it's a figure. It's, it's for real, or is he just messing with him? He's touching me down there. We can make a lot of love before the sun goes down. What the fuck? <laughs> Is he messing with him? Hey, afternoon delight. You really hypnotized me, you know. For God's sake, Will. I don't need therapy. That's enough, get out. He used to be my, um... Your therapist? My roommate in college. Roommate. Who is it? Robin Williams? We haven't seen Trust. him yet. Very important. He needs somebody just as smart as him, you know, like Robin Williams. Uh, trust his life. Wow. It's very deep. That should be the goal of any good therapist. Nail them while they're vulnerable. That's my motto. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Are you not in good terms with each other or something like that? Or just surprised? Fields medal winner for combinatorial mathematics. Hello. It's an amazing honor. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, I was nervous for a second. The reaction was so awkward. So how long has it been since we've seen each other? Before Nancy died. Yeah, I'm sorry. This, this boy is incredible. I've never seen anything like him. What makes him so incredible, Jerry? Never heard of Ramanujan. Came across this old math thing. And from this simple text, he was able to extrapolate theories that had baffled mathematicians for years. Mm -hmm. He emailed it to Hardy. At yeah, Hardy in Cambridge. Came, sure. His genius was unparalleled, Sean. Well, this boy is just like that. I need someone who can get through to them. Like me? Yeah, like yes. you. How many shrinks you go to before me? How many? Five. Ooh. Once a week. Please. Please. I know you're going to say yes, but... Say yes quickly. This is Sean McGuire, Will Hunting. Why? Will Hunting. That's his surname. Let's let the healing begin. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. Oh, thanks. What about the ones on the top shelf? You read those? Yeah, I read those. The United States of America, Complete History, Volume 1. If you want to read a real history book, read Howard Zinn's People's History of the United States. That book will fucking knock you on your ass. You surround yourselves with them, they're the wrong fucking books. What are the right fucking books, Will? What do you bench? 285. What do you bench? Whatever you say, he's got an answer for you. It's a real piece of shit. <laughs> oh, well, tell me what you really think. I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking ear off. Really? Come on. Change my name to Vincent. <laughs> but maybe you do what you got to do to get out. You know, maybe you became a psychologist. Maybe you married the wrong woman. Maybe you should watch your mouth. You married the wrong woman. Bro. She died. You know, banging some other guy. Time's up. Yeah. This guy's a real piece of work. Oh. Okay. No, he almost killed him. Thursday, four o'clock. Make sure the kid's here. Did he get under your skin? Of course he did. What you thinking well, about? Well, you look lovely in those glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs> beautiful. Yes, I always wanted that blue eyeshadow. <laughs> the 
end, my brain's gonna be worth $250,000. So how are we getting all that money? No, Stanford. I'm going there in June when I graduate. Hey, you want to see my magic trick, Scott? Of course. One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> They're all gone. You happen to get a good night kiss? No, you know, I tell you, I was hoping to get a good night late. So. <laughs> I wish you just get out of the way now. Sure. <laughs> That's good. He's finally studying professionally under, I don't know how to explain that, but he's getting therapy now. He found a good therapist. You again, huh? He's gonna deal with you. And he found love. I guess things are going good for him. You got a thing for swans? Is this like a fetish? It's something like maybe we need to devote some time. Do you ever shut up? I thought about what you said to me the other day. You know what occurred to me? No. You're just a kid. You don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Michelangelo. You know a lot about him. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. If I ask you about women, Probably give me a syllabus of your personal favorites. You may have even been laid a few times. What? But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. He's probably gonna know about that soon, too. When I ask you about war, you probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? You've never held your best friend's head in your lap and watch him gasp his last breath looking to you for help. He's got you thinking now. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel, be there forever, through anything through cancer. You don't know about real loss, because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. Oh. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. Because you saw a painting of mine, you ripped my fucking life apart. You're an orphan, right? Do you think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been? Because I read Oliver Twist. I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some fucking book. He was lecturing the guy in that bar about just reading things in the, in, in the books and not having his own original ideas. He's sort of throwing the same thing at him now. You move, Chief. Where is he? Is he not here? Oh, he is. Hello? Hello? What? Who did you call? No, and I forgot the number. <laughs> when we get off of Mother's, I just got off of yours. <laughs> Why didn't he talk to her? No smoking. Are you waiting for him to talk? You're just gonna sit there silently the entire time and he's not gonna say anything? And then he's just gonna go. What do you mean I didn't talk? You were in there for an hour. I just sat there counting the seconds until the session was over. You know your theory, Alexander, but the boys found a simple geometrical picture. I wrote it down. It's, it's simpler this way. Oh my God, Jerry, you're right. This boy is a genius. Sometimes people get lucky. <laughs> you're a brilliant man. How many days before he starts talking? Of course he's gonna start talking one day. Are you sleeping? You know, I was on this plane once. And he was like, you know, all I could use right now is a fucking blowjob and a cup of coffee. This guy in the back of the plane's like, hey, hon, don't forget the coffee. <laughs> you ever been on a plane? I was thinking the same thing. Like, have you ever been on a plane? I have been late, you know. Big time. Big time. Big right? time. Yeah, it's different for most of the girls I've been with. So call her up, Romeo. Why? So I can realize she's not that smart? My wife used to fart when she was nervous. Those are the things I miss the most. The little idiosyncrasies that only I know about. You're not perfect, sport. And let me save you the suspense. Neither is she. She isn't perfect either. But the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. If I can talk more than any shrink I ever seen in my life. I teach this shit. I didn't say I know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Hold it open. Okay. I thought you'd call. You did. Yeah, Sorry, Ralph. Um, well, let me take you out again. Oh, I can't. I've got to assign the proton spectrum for ibogamine. Well, that sounds really, really interesting. What's your writing? Oh. 
It's like, is he writing a love letter? Why is he so serious? He's all old, uh... I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Where the fuck did you get this? I had to sleep with someone in your class. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. This dude is so, so, so smart. We won. <laughs> we totally won. I'm still glad for my win. Yeah, <laughs> so happy. How many? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I have 12 big brothers. You do not I, I have swear 12 to God, brothers. I swear to God. Maki, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. <laughs> Say it again. Um, I'm living with three of them right now. Oh, yeah? Okay, um, brothers from foster homes? Because, hey, uh... You ever wonder what your life would be like if you, uh, if you never met your wife? When did you know, like, that she was the one for you? He's trying to figure it out for himself. That's very specific. We're sitting in a bar waiting for the game to start. And in walks this girl. He's like, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! I can't fucking believe you had tickets to that fucking game! I didn't rush the fucking field. I wasn't there. You didn't go for her? To have a fucking drink with some lady you never met? Yeah, but you should have seen her. She was a stunner. I said, sorry guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> I gotta go see about a girl? Fell in love. First sight. I don't regret the 18 years I was married to Nancy. I don't regret the six years I had to give up counseling when she got sick. It would have been nice to catch that game, though. <laughs> you know, Pudge is gonna hit a home run. <laughs> hmm. Why'd we always stay here? Where? Because it's nicer than my place. Yes, but I've never seen your place. It's just books and nothing else. Is it me you're hiding from them or the other way around? So it's like 4.30 in the morning, they're probably up. <laughs> oh my god. Outlook does not look good. <laughs> Fuck the egg shack, no. Not that tall. Just say Maybe I'm all about three points. I like her. He likes her too. Like, you have Lady Brothers Skyler here. We're fucking all bombed and drinking. I know, Morgan. It's a real rarity we'd be all drinking. <laughs> my Uncle Marty's driving home, right? bombed out of his tree. He gets out of the car and, you know, pukes on the guy. Stated he's pretty sure he's over the legal limit. Some other guy's car had hit a tree. Okay, oh. it was an accident. So he tells my uncle, stay here. Don't move. Gets up, gets in his car, and just drives home. He's like, bitch, I never seen you before in my life. I've been home all night with my kids. I don't know who the fuck you are. This is Dady's police cruiser. He's in my uncle's garage. He's <laughs> <laughs> fucking, so fucking hammered and drove the wrong car home. He's been driving around all night in my uncle's Chevelle looking for the house. <laughs> it does make sense. What? If you listen to the story, quit asking questions. There's an old couple in bed. I want to give you a little present. Anything your little heart desires, I'm going to give it to you. I would like you to give me a blowjob. She takes the teeth out, puts them in the glass, and she gives him a blowjob. And Mary looks up at him and she goes, Do this a gift. <laughs> oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Change my opinion of how to people. Uh, well, you don't want to rush to judgment on that one, because, you know, they're not all like me. You said we were going to see your place. No, not tonight. Oh, no, not tonight. Not any other night. Stewardess hears this and goes hauling ass down the aisle. And I yell, don't forget the coffee. <laughs> He's this, that joke. <laughs> we went to college together. How you doing? Nice to meet you. He's telling a joke in first person because that's better. You have a plan on paying your tab? <laughs> yeah, Chief. Got the winning lottery ticket right here. You wanted to talk about Will. Well, it seems to be going well. My phone's been ringing off the hook with job offers. What kind? I don't really think he's ready for that. Are you not ready to let him go yet because you really like his company? Tim, can you help us? We're trying to settle a bet. You've heard of Albert Einstein? How about Gerald Lambo? Ever heard of him? This isn't about me, Sean. That's Jerry. Okay, okay. It was a 26-year-old Swiss patent clerk doing physics in his spare time who changed the world. This boy has that gift. He just hasn't got the direction, but we can give that to him. Showed amazing potential. Then he moved to Montana and he blew the competition away. Who's Ted Kaczynski? Uniball. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We gotta give this kid direction. Maybe he doesn't want what you want. There's more to life than a fucking Fields medal. I came here out of courtesy. I, I wanted to keep you in the loop. Oh, nice to be in the loop. Is there something we don't know about these two? What happened between them? What's this personal, personal rivalry? Let me tell you, you have my blessing. But I think we all know that person's not going to represent you as well as I can. Why is he here? You want us to give you cash right now? I've got uh, $73. Uh, 
will you take a check? After the shit you tried to pull today, you can bet I'll be looking into you. And until that day comes, keep your head to the grindstone. What just happened here? You want some help? No. Mm. Come on, give me one little no. peek. She needs to study. It is actually important that I learn this. Yes. Do you have a photographic memory? I don't know, I just kind of remember, you know. So much fun studying organic chemistry. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are very smart people here at Harvard, and even they have to study because this is really hard. Beethoven, okay? He looked at a piano, and it just made sense to him. I can't play the piano. But you can do my Oakham paper in under an hour. Mm. When it came to stuff like that, I could always just play. Well, <laughs> what's going to happen to him? Where is he going to end up? The movie is about to end, I think. I've been here for four years. And I've only just found you. You wake. No. Hmm. I want you to come to California with me. I just know. Never no. How do you know? She just said she just knows. She can feel I it? I feel it. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck in California. Someone doesn't really want to be with me. Just wish they had a take back. A what? If you don't love me, you should just tell me I'm because it's such a... I love you. You live in this safe little world where no one challenges you and you're scared shitless oh, no. to do don't, anything don't, else because Don't tell me about my world. Just sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too once. Why are you saying this? And that's my life and I deal with it. So don't put your shit on me when you're the one that's afraid. You're afraid that I won't love you back. Yeah. I'm not honest with you. No, what about your 12 brothers? Yeah. That I'm a fucking orphan? No, yeah. you don't want to hear I that. I didn't know no, that. No, you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that I got it. fucking cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. I want to help you because I'm going to be with you. Help me? What the fuck? What do I got? A fucking Shh. sign on my back? It says save me? Oh. Don't you love fucking you. Love you. Shit you. me! I don't love you. Oh, you asshole. Of course you do. Shut up. Oh my god, this guy. Go talk to your therapist and figure this shit out and come back. Most people never get to see how brilliant they can be. They don't find teachers who believe in them. Are you talking about yourself, Tom? Hello, Will. Tom, could you get us some coffee? Good. This can't be right. What? Did you ever consider... I'm pretty sure it's right. But did you think of the possibility... It's right. right. What happened at the McNeil meeting? It wasn't there. I sent my chief negotiator. <laughs> I'll give you a job myself. I just wanted you to see what was out there. Look, maybe I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking life sitting around explaining shit to people. I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am, because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. Bro. Oh. This is probably a total waste of my time. Bro. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're right, Will. You really should show him some appreciation, you know, he got you out of jail. Most days I wish I never met you. I didn't have to walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. I, I didn't have to watch you throw it all away. I feel you, Jerry. If you're watching pornos in my mom's room again, I'm gonna give you a fucking beat. <laughs> Why is it always Morgan? <laughs> with everything. What's up, fellas? Not in my glove. I just used it for the for cleanup. <laughs> Why do you think I should work for the National Security Agency? Ooh. Super string theory, chaos math. You're seven times the size of the CIA. The question is, why shouldn't you? Maybe that code was the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East, and once they have that location, they bomb the village where the rebels are hiding. He's talking to Robin Williams now. He's telling him. He comes back to find that the plan he used to work at got exported to the country he just got back from. He realizes the only reason he was over there in the first place was so that we could install a government that would sell us oil at a good price. But it ain't helping my buddy at two fifty a gallon. Now my buddy's out of work. He can't afford to drive, so he's walking to the fucking job interviews, which sucks because the shrapnel in his ass is giving him chronic hemorrhoids. I'm holding out for something better. You feel like you're alone, Will? I'm talking about someone who opens up things for you, touches your soul. I got plenty. Well, no, you don't. Shakespeare, Nietzsche, Frost, O'Connor, Kant. Nope. You can't give back to them, Will. Not without some serious smelling salts and a heater. Yeah. <laughs> all you see is every negative thing ten miles down the road. That's why you fucked up your relationship. Fix that. You can do anything you want. You are bound by nothing. He can't be a musician. 
You were born with it, so don't cop out behind. I didn't ask for this. You could be a janitor anywhere. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole fucking world? So what do you really want to do? I want to be a shepherd. If you're going to jerk off, why don't you just do it at home with a moist towel? You chucking me? Yeah, get the fuck hey, out no. of here. Where's your soulmate? You want to talk about soulmates? Where is she? Dead. What do you want to do? He is so confused because he's scared, I guess, of everything. Because he sees all the negatives and all that stuff. You got a bullshit answer for everybody. But I ask yes. you a very simple question and you can't give me a straight answer. Yes. See you, Bobby. Bobby. You're the shepherd. Oh, that's why you called him Bobby. I was like, what's, why? Taking all these uh, job interviews and stuff, so I'm not gonna be just a construction worker. Well, you know, I never really cared about that. She has the money for both of you. She doesn't care you. about that. Say it back, please. Will you? Will? You take care. Someone's always coming around here, real skilled. So glad to meet you, Angela. He's not here, bro. He's not here. I feel so bad for her. Come on, Will. Fly to California. Well, if he doesn't show up and I file a report saying he wasn't here and he goes back to jail, it won't be on my conscience. What's going on, Will? What do you want? Come on, bro. Medical school in California? Really? Well, that sucks. Are they gonna hook you up with a job or what? Yeah, fucking sit in a room and do long division for the next 50 years. In 20 years, if you're still living here, still working construction, I'll fucking kill you. You don't owe it to yourself. Do you owe it to me? Else? Yes. Because I'd do fucking anything to have what you got. So would any of these fucking guys. Finally, his best friend is gonna get through to him. Hanging around here is a fucking waste of your time. Exactly. You don't know that. Yes, he does. Shut up. You don't know anything. Every day I come by your house and I pick you up. But I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. This is a disaster. Ben Affleck saves the day. Don't you dare undermine what I'm trying to do here. Undermine? Why doesn't he trust anybody? Because the first thing that happened to him, he was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the oh, most. Oh, come on. He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. It's a defense mechanism. And if you're angry at me for being, being successful, for being what you could have been, Sean. I'm not angry at you. If you want him to feel like a failure. Oh, you arrogant shit. You think I'm a failure. I know who I am. You and your kiss-ass chorus following you around going to the Fields Medal, the Fields Medal. That's why he was talking about the Fields Medal that way when he came to the class for the first time. I don't blame you. It's not about you, you mathematical dick. It's about the boy. And he's listening. I am what I am today because I was pushed and because I learned to push myself. Not you. I'm not you. Hey, you're not gonna fail me, are you? <laughs> no. What if he says, yes, of course I'm gonna fail you? 20 years of counseling. Yeah, I've seen some pretty awful shit. I mean, have you had any experience with that? My father was an alcoholic. I had to provoke him so he wouldn't go after my mother and little brother. Interesting nights, but when he wore his rings. Oh, God. Well, I gotta go with the belt there, Vanna. I used to go with the ranch. Why the ranch? Your foster father. Yeah. Is that why I broke up with Skyla? I didn't know you had. You wanna talk about it? No. Of course you do. That's why you brought it up. Holy shit. It's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. What you doing? Mm -hmm. I know. It's not your fault. I always get so scared. John, it's like, what if he punches you? He's just a very angry person. Don't fuck with me. He's gonna cry. Don't fuck with me, all right? Oh. Oh my god. It's okay. Let it out. <laughs> so much trauma. When they showed Will, it was like in the beginning, it was like, Nice boy, sweetest boy, and then turns out he's violent, he has anger issues, attachment, abandonment, and all that stuff, and all the trauma. Oh, God. Where are you going? Where are you? We're hunting. You're about a position. Or the place where Jerry 
sent him, but he sent his friend. Which one did you take? I was over at uh, McNeil. It's one of the McNeil. jobs the professor set me up with. Good for you. Congratulations. Thanks. What about Skylar? Time's up. <sighs> Just want you to know, Sean, that you're welcome, Will. I mean, you can still be friends for life. You can meet up outside the office. Hope we keep in touch, you know. Yeah, me too. Gonna put my money back on the table and see what kind of cards I get. Hey, does this violate the uh, patient-doctor relationship? Nah, only if you grab my ass. <laughs> Good luck, son. What's up, did you guys go? Nah, I had to talk him down. Hey, asshole. What, bitch? Happy birthday. Stella for God, huh, bitch? Here's your present. <gasps> oh, my God. Legally allowed to drink, so we figured the best thing for you, kid, was a car. It's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Morgan was out panhandling for change every day. I had the rotor to do all the body work. Yeah, it's a good car, dude. The engine's good. It'll get you to work. Is Jerry coming here? Oh, yeah. I, um... Me too, Jerry. <laughs> India and China and Baltimore. Mm. Uh, class of 72 is having a reunion in six months. Why don't you come? I'll buy you a drink. How about a drink right now? Yeah, it's a good idea. Got the winner right here, pal. Oh. This is the one. <laughs> the lottery ticket. That's good that these two figured their stuff out, too. Now we just need Skylar back. Come on, go to California. Oh, he's here to see him. Do that first. Close the door. The boys, the three, nobody's sitting in the shotgun. That's Will's place. Is he going to California? Is he really going? <gasps> just like I said, no goodbyes, nothing. He just won't be. <sighs> this movie is so good. Empty. Oh, this is such a nice movie. This is... Before I thought they already knew that he was leaving and he and they still left the shotgun empty, but... <laughs> no, he's gonna take his place. <laughs> He wasn't like, what? He's not there. He's just like, shotgun, it's mine now. Just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He stole my life. <laughs> I mean, he can get a job in California. He's a genius. He can get a job anywhere. Someplace important where he'll be doing equations for the rest of his life, like a rap, lab rat, whatever he said, but he can do that in California too. You know what I thought this movie was going to be like? That real hunting is really good. Like the title said, good real hunting, that is really sweet, really nice. And you, you know, it's gonna take some time for the professor to figure out who is solving these equations, who is this genius. And then when they do figure it out, you know, it's going to be his success story, how he goes from there to, you know, he's gonna face some challenges, but he's gonna be this math genius by the end of this movie, which he already is, but you know, recognized by the rest of the world and that type of story. But it was so much more personal it's he was not very good he picked up they picked a lot of fights beat up a lot of people that was a real shock when he went after the guy who used to beat him up at kindergarten and he just went after him and i was like i, I did not expect that from you will i thought he was just super sweet you were super sweet and super nice but no and all the other things being in and out of jail and you know the foster home, all that backstory, super sad and so much trauma. And it was all about him healing and turning into a 
better version of himself. And he's going back. And he's going to California, not back to California. He's going back to Skylar. <sighs> she was just so perfect for him. I'm sad that we don't get to see them seeing each other again, but I, I, did, I did want to see her again by the end of the movie, but at least it ended with him going back to her. Of course it was gonna end like that, of course. Such a good movie, Robin Williams is so, so good. For a few minutes there I forgot that Robin Williams was in this movie because I knew before starting the movie that Robin Williams and Matt Damon are in this movie. I saw a poster. The rest of the cast, I didn't know they were gonna be in there. Casey Affleck, um, Scar Scarred, I forgot his name. Osh, Jerry, you know, all these actors. Amazing cast. This was such a feel good movie. It did not make me cry and it was not a comedy. It was just a very feel good movie and it felt really good. It was really fun seeing all the therapists running away because he was just so arrogant that he was not ready to listen to anybody else. So to see how Robin Williams character handled him was good too. He got to him in the first meeting though, but then by the next week he was like, I got you. And he said all those things about him not actually experiencing anything that he talks about. He just learned all of that from books, S sort of similar to how he was talking to the guy in that Howard bar, how he was telling him that you just read these things and you say these things to other people you don't have any original ideas of your own that's kind of the similar thing that robin williams was saying to him that you have not experienced anything everything that you talk about everything that you say that makes you sound so smart you've read about these in books and i can read about them in books there is nothing i can learn from you that i can't learn from these books you know he got to him in that second meeting and that was so good that entire thing where he said all those things to him and he just went really quiet because he didn't know what to say. That moment was really good. And that was probably my favorite moment, one of my favorite moments in the movie. That was so good. Another favorite was when he cried, when he was actually really vulnerable in front of him, Robin Williams. He kept saying, it's not your fault. And I was like, I kind of know what you're doing, but I'm scared he's gonna punch you. And he did try to just push him away, but he handled that and he kept saying, and then I was like, he's gonna cry. And he did cry and that made me emotional, almost cry. That was such a good scene too. And to see him being like, I didn't ask for this. I don't want to be this genius. I don't want to, have this job i want to do construction for the rest of the life the rest of my life when i thought in the beginning he would be thrilled when he finds out the professor wants to work with him and he finally gets the chance to do math that he really loves and all these equations he did not like that i thought he was gonna love it that he has the opportunity to do something that he's really good at but that was totally opposite which made it really fun. Really good movie. These guys wrote it. I didn't know that these two wrote it. It's such a good movie. And thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please go ahead, like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.